Hi, good morning everyone. This is Mr. M from Algebra Lessons. In this video, I would like to introduce uh, two different things uh, about the arithmetic sequences and geometric sequences. In the previous video, we discussed about the nth term of an arithmetic sequence and nth term of a geometric sequence. So, um, let me refresh your uh, previous information or previous knowledge uh, by just giving some idea about or the, the equations on both of these cases. So, some to n terms of, a, of an arithmetic sequence um, is uh, n by 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 to d. So, here um, I actually gave you the uh, information before, so not mentioning this. So, you can go through this uh, previous video. And you can see that uh, what is this nth term? Nth term equation is given a1 plus n minus 1 to d um, for arithmetic sequence and for a geometric sequence it is a r to the power n minus 1. So, uh, be more specific about the uh, arithmetic sequence. The sum of n terms of an arithmetic sequence is Sn is equal to n by 2. n represents the number of terms um, uh, times um, 2a plus n minus 1 to d. So, this n is actually uh, giving you how many terms are there and or the position of the how many positions are there in the in the sequence. So, n by 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 into d. a represents the first term um, uh, and d represents the common difference. So, if you know the number of terms, the number of terms, the first term and the common difference, you can use this equation to find the uh, sum to n terms. We will do uh, an example in few minutes. Um, if you know the first term, last term and the number of terms or the last uh, the, num the position, the total number of positions, you can use this equation. So, if you know just the first term, the number of terms and the common difference and do you don't know about the last term, you can use this equation. If you know the first and last term and the number of terms, you can use the second equation. This is about the uh, arithmetic sequence and about the geometric sequence. Uh, it is completely based on the common ratio. Um, the sum to n terms is first term times 1 minus r to the power n. r is the common ratio. You know that r is a2 over a1. Okay, so that is actually the uh, formula to find the common ratio. Sn is equal to a into 1 minus r to the power n, r is common ratio uh, divided by 1 minus r. If the common ratio is less than 1, um, then you can use um, this expression. If the common ratio is greater than 1, then you can use this expression. So, it is actually the, the, the in the equation, the r and 1 is actually interchanging. Um, in if r is less than 1, 1 comes first. If r is greater than 1, uh, r comes first. So, keep that in mind. So, just as a tip. Um, and there are some uh, occasions the sequence are actually uh, infinite. If you, if the sequence is infinite, then you can use, um, I'm actually speaking about the um, arithmetic sequence, um, um, sorry, the geometric sequence. Um, if the sequence is, in, is an infinite sequence, uh, sum is uh, Sn is equal to A over 1 minus R. Um, and there is a condition um, to use this equation, the absolute value of the common ratio should be less than 1, uh, but greater than 0. Okay, so absolute value of R should be in between 0 and 1. Okay, so uh, let me show you uh, some examples um, to make sure that um, the uh, equations are actually um, uh, kind of applicable. So, let me start with, uh, let me start with an arithmetic um, sequence problem. Um, suppose I have an arithmetic sequence 5, 9, 13, 17, 17, uh, etc. If I need to find the 25th term, 25th term of the sequence, if I need to find the 25th term of the sequence, um, 25th term of the sequence, uh, how can I find it? So, um, 
you know the uh, nth term of a sequence that is a n is equal to a 1 plus a 1 plus n minus 1 into d that is the equation so we can simply apply that equation here here a 1 means the first term first term is 5 plus n represents the number of terms means there is 25 terms so 20 we are actually looking for which number comes in the 25th position so 25 minus 1 uh, times the common difference common difference means second term minus first term or third term minus so that is actually the uh, pattern so 9 minus 5 is 4 so that is uh, 5 plus uh, 24 times 4 so your final answer is uh, 101 24 times 4 plus 5 that is the answer so the 25th term of the sequence or the 25th position the term comes in the 25th position of the sequence is 101 so that is actually the application of the nth term of a sequence and now uh, we can uh, check uh, one um, some some problem uh, if I need to find uh, okay let me use a different color okay um i like blue but you know okay so the problem is this uh find the sum of the um uh, sequence uh one plus four plus seven plus etc so this is a sequence this is a sequence i need to find the sum of first hundred terms suppose there is hundred terms one four seven and so on there is hundred terms I need to find the sum of all these hundred terms mm, interesting so in this point what are the informations you have you have the first term first term is a1 is equal to 1 and from the given information you can find what is the common difference first term is 1 second term is 4 third term is 7 so for second term minus first term that is a common difference uh, that is 4 uh, minus 1 that is 3 so you have the first term and the common difference uh, as per the previous uh, information, if you know the first term and the common difference and the number of terms, you can easily use the equation Sn is equal to uh, n by 2 into um, 2a plus n minus 1 uh, into d. So this is actually what the equation you can use because here you know only the first term, common difference and the last term. But if you know the first term and last term, you can use the other equation. Okay. We can apply this equation. What is n represents? The total number of terms. Here the total number of terms is 100 because they are looking for the first 100 terms. So 100 uh, divided by 2 times 2a means 2 times a is the first term. That is 1 plus n minus 1. That is 100 minus 1 uh, times d. d is the common difference. That is 3. That is uh, 50 times 2 plus uh, 99 times 3. So if you uh, use your calculator and find the answer, your answer will be uh, 14950. Uh, you can make sure this answer is correct. Um, so that is the sum of n, sum to n terms. So here it is sum to 100 terms of that uh, given sequence. And let me uh, let me show you one geometric um, sequence problem also for the sum case. So here, let me use this color. Suppose I have a sequence 5, negative 5 by 2, 5 by 4, negative 5 by 8, etc. Oh, interesting. Uh, it is not saying um, for how many terms we need to find the sum, but we need to find the sum. Okay. So in this case, uh, you need to um, understand that if there is no position is specifying or the sum to how many terms is not specifying, you need to find the sum, sum to infinity. We have an equation to find the sum to infinity. That is, S is Sn is equal to uh, A over A over 1 minus R. And the absolute value of R should be uh, less than 1 but greater than 0. So this is actually the conditions uh, it need to uh, follow. So let me check uh, what is the what is the um, common ratio. So here common ratio can be calculated as common ratio is equal to second term 
over first term. So negative 5 by 2 over 5. We can make this as a fraction by putting over 1. So that is minus 5 by 2 times 1 over 5 because dividing a fraction is multiplying the reciprocal of the second uh, fraction. Cancel it out. So your answer is negative 1 by 2. So that is actually uh, the common ratio. But we need to check absolute value of r is absolute value of negative 1 by 2 that is positive 1 by 2. So that is actually greater than uh, 0 but less than 1. Correct. So we can use that equation um, or that formula to find the um, sum that is Sn is equal to uh, a over a over 1 minus r. So here a is, um, a is 5 over 1 minus r is negative 1 by 2. So negative 1 by 2 that is 5 over 1 plus 1 by 2. 2 negative square makes plus. So that is 5 over 2 times 1 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. So that is 3 by 2. That is uh, 5 times reciprocated 2 by 3. That is 5 times 2 is 10. 10 by 3. So this is the answer. This is the sum um, to infinity. So here Yes, Sn is equal to a over one, uh, one a over one minus r is the uh, formula work because it's an infinite sequence. So I hope uh, all of these problems make sense for you all. Uh, I'll come back with uh, some more interesting and complex problems in sequence and series. Um, so wait for the next video. Uh, we in the next video we will discuss about uh, how how we can find the a number of terms of a sequence, both geometric and arithmetic sequence. So wait for that. Till that, Mr. Rami is signing off. See you then. Bye.